Hello, in this video I'm going to go over Lenz's Law. Um, Lenz's Law, some people find to be difficult. Um, I honestly find it exceedingly easy. And here's the basic idea. So imagine a loop. It's just, you know, sitting there. Nothing's happening to it. We then add a little magnetic flux to it, just for fun. A little change in magnetic flux. So there's now a uh, positive change in magnetic flux. Now, what's going to happen, for example, if someone decided to come up and just push you off your chair? What are you going to do? In many people's cases, they're going to stand up, probably swear a little bit, and maybe push back. Well, essentially, this is what the um, loop wants to do. As a rule of nature, things don't like change. Well, at least, not, not as a rule, general rule, but, um, think of it this way. Newton's third law. For every force, there's an, or for every action, there's an equal and, equal and opposite reaction. So, if we have a positive change in flux, what's the what loop going to try to do? It's going to want to stay in its same position. So it's going to try to create a, magnetic, a negative magnetic field to counteract the positive magnetic fields that are acting upon it. So, for example, if loop is going... Um, I don't know if that's the way it's going. Hold up. Um, if the loop is going this way, the other direction, um, loop is going this way, Again, it'll go that way because if you take the loop rule using your thumb as the magnetic field and your fingers as the uh, direction of electron motion, they'll, the electrons will be going around this way, but current is the direction of positive motion. Since electrons are negative, they'll be going in the opposite direction of the electron motion. So you'll have current going around counterclockwise. When the current goes around counterclockwise, you can again use that loop rule and find that the electric field is going the electric field that's going to be created or the magnetic field that's going to be created I'm going to use green for that green is going to be the created magnetic field is going to be negative to that of change so it's going to create a negative a field in opposing the direction on the direction of change um, that's basically Lenz's law all I'm saying is that um, the, the induced current is going to be create a magnetic field in the opposite direction of the change of flux. might sound difficult, but think about it. Everything wants to stay the same. So if a magnetic current is starting to come into a loop, there's going to be an attempt for that loop to create a magnetic uh, current opposing it. Once it stops, the magnetic current stops, and there's no more change. So it's just going to sit there. And if you pull out the magnet, the magnet now, so if you pull it out like this, there's going to be, then these are all going to not be this direction. They're actually going to need to be opposing that motion. And the current's going to flip. Basically, all that happens is it resists change. And that's the reason a current is induced. Um, and that's all Lenz's Law is. I don't think it's really that difficult. I know a lot of people have trouble with it. Feel free to comment and I'll try to help, but I don't know how much simpler this can get. Anyways, thank you for your time and I hope this helped a little bit.